Hello everybody, Hamp Thomas here again, and I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about appraisal management companies. Yeah, I know I've talked about it before, but you know, for years and years, appraisal management companies have been above appraisers, even though it was meant for them to be like a middle person in between lenders and appraisers, the way it's turned out, well, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac work with a very short list of appraisal management companies. And if you're doing a mortgage appraisal, likely you're working for an appraisal management company. They're going to dictate your, your turnaround time. They're going to dictate your fee. And then you're not allowed to disclose your fee in an appraisal report. Nobody can find out how much money and if they get paid. Well, if you don't want somebody to know how much you're getting paid, chances are you're getting paid too much, guys. It shouldn't be a big secret at all, but they have turned out to be totally in charge of the complete appraisal industry. And for the last few years, you know, all these appraisers are talking about, well, it's time to get out of the business. I can't work for an appraisal management company. There's not enough private business, which is wrong. There is enough. However, you know, it's been a bad time and everybody's complaining about, you know, and appraisers are great about writing things. You know, we can write a blog and an article and we can complain about AMCs very, very quickly. But who are the people behind the scenes that are actually getting something done? And believe me, if you get something done, it can be very costly to you. In 2022, I had the ANSI class out and I was the fair haired child. You know, everybody was talking about ANSI and Hamp Thomas was selling a lot of classes back then. Move another year forward, Hamp opened his mouth and dared to talk bad about appraisal management companies and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Well, guess what? Nobody's taking my classes now, and I have paid the price for speaking out. So it's a dangerous line, you know, between what you can say and what where you can get in trouble for it. But, you know, even though we all complain, there are people behind the scenes. Oh, if I can get my computer to work here. All right, there are people, anybody that is an appraiser, needs to know two names, Joshua Tucker and Pat Turner. As much as everybody complains about everything and says, why aren't we doing something? Well, guess what? Those two people are doing something. They're putting their name out there. And Joshua Tucker, he's my hero. I mean, Joshua Tucker, thank you is all I can say. He spent his time to come up with all this work. And if you haven't read what Joshua Tucker just submitted to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, you need to find it. Look up Joshua Turner. If you're, or Tucker, I'm sorry, look him up. If you're an appraiser, tell him thank you. Call him, send him an email, I don't care what. But if you're an appraiser, you owe him a thank you. And Pat Turner, a lot of you know, you know, and he's elected back to the uh, appraisal board in the state of Virginia. So he's in a great place to help us. But those two people are taking the battle to the government where it needs to go. They're standing up and fighting for appraisers like somebody needs to do, but none of us ever really want to do it enough. But if you're an appraiser, Look at those names, Joshua Tucker and Pat Turner, and tell them thank you. They are changing the business, and they're not afraid to put their name out there and tell it like it is. Appraiser management companies are out of control. The system needs to change, and they're showing proof why that system needs to be changed. They're trying to make things better, and if you're an appraiser, we need to stand up and be valued and tell those guys thank you. They deserve your thanks, guys. Thank you for watching.